Behind the vast and varied fleet of British Rail lay a remarkable foundation of engineering skill. At the heart of that foundation was BREL, British Rail Engineering Limited. BREL was responsible for building and repairing most of BR's locomotives, carriages and wagons, and even produced trains for customers overseas, such as those for the metre gauge lines of Tanzania. At its peak, it employed around 35,000 skilled technicians, craftsmen and engineers, making it one of the largest engineering organisations in Britain. One of its major works was at Horwich in Lancashire. Its works manager, Chris Shepherd, had joined as a graduate in the early 1970s when the plant was outdated and its future uncertain. He developed multi-million pound investment programmes that modernised the site including converting a wagon shop into a state-of-the-art carriage facility. Among the vehicles refurbished, there were Southern Region electric multiple units, whose service lives were extended by at least another decade. Graduates entered BREL, either from university or through sponsorship schemes, all undergoing two years of practical training. They spent time on the workshop floor, in design departments and at operating depots learning directly from the skilled staff they might one day manage. Many recalled this as their first real introduction to the wider world of engineering, a place where asking questions, showing interest and getting hands-on earned respect far quicker than simply watching from the sidelines. Female engineers, still rare at the time, often faced initial curiosity, but soon proved themselves by working hard, getting involved and showing they were every bit as capable as their male colleagues. This culture of learning, skill and determination defined BREL for decades. It was the engineering backbone of Britain's railways. But by the late 1980s, everything began to change. New trains required less heavy maintenance, government policy shifted toward privatisation and BREL's role steadily diminished. In 1989, the company was sold, and by 1992 it was fully absorbed into ABB transportation. BREL, as a unified national engineering organisation, ceased to exist. Some former BREL works later closed, while others continued under new owners. The most famous survivor, Derby Litchurch Lane, went on to become part of Bombardier, and today operates under Alstom. In that sense, BREL's legacy continued, not as a single company, but through the people it trained, the trains it built, and the industry it helped shape. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more railway history.